Good afternoon everyone, it's Sheila here in Boho Daydreams and welcome to my channel. It's Friday and oh my goodness, if that isn't my favorite, favorite day of the week, which um, it's always amazing to me that Friday feels different than every, any other day of the week, even though they're all the same to me. Anyway, this is going to be uh, maybe a bit of a long video. I um, am going to be taking a break um, after this so this will be the last for a while just because I have to get my taxes done and there's a few other things so what I will be working on then uh, in between my taxes is dyeing different packages that were requested um, and so th that's where my focus will be so I'm popping up my info I'm Sheila Genrich um, scoghill4 at gmail.com and the YouTube is Boho Daydreams Sheila and the group Boho Daydreams um, is where we kind of all gather so I'm going to link that in the description box too. So the first thing that I want to uh, talk about is the Seaside Soiree Fair Damsels Retreat which is in June in June of 2024, it's going to be the 2nd to the 7th, and it's going to be in California. Now, if that's something that you might like to take in, just connect with me, and I will um, uh, connect you with either Karen Anderson or Georgianne Anderson. And I probably will put their um, emails into the description box as well. We had so much fun in Vermont, so the retreat um, is carried over for next year on the West Coast, so it's going to be beautifully warm. Um, I'm so excited. Uh, the details, uh, the fine details of it haven't been released yet, so it hasn't been made public yet. So if you're watching this video, then you're getting more information than anybody else in Facebook. All right, so first things first, let me see here. I'm going to show you the one-offs first of what I have, and then I'm going to go into the new packages. So the, I have one of the boho packages. This is the one that has the elephants and the peacocks in it. And I wasn't supposed to have any more because I sold them all, and then I had sold one too many. I ha wasn't careful. So there's only one of these left. So if you want this one, um, give me an email or message me on Facebook. So one of those. Um, then there is, I made a couple of these extra. And this is a half a yard each of the darker gold and then the lighter gold. And so there's two packages of these um, left. And these are um, one yard half yard each so there's two of those and then there is this <clears throat> excuse me i feel like i have a tickle in my throat when all else fails go get coffee so join me for some coffee all right so this is a very colorful package of laces and what I've been doing is kind of cleaning up around. And so the pieces that I found extra that didn't belong into any any package um, is sitting in here. So it's everything from pinks. And you'll see like duplicate pieces of them. So they probably were missed because um, they were kind of hidden underneath stuff. So there's all sorts of colors in here. All the different colors that I have used. Oh, I love that. So this is a big package. And then also there is a big piece of this. A large piece of this that I dyed up. So it is a big package. Um, if you would like to claim that, let me know. Um, oops. There we go. So there's only one of those. So whoever claims that, um, there is no more. So we're going to look at trim package number one, uh, number two, number three, and number four. So there is four different trim packages. Um, and there's only four to five of each of these. So we're just going to do a quick peek 
through them. So this is trim package number one, and this is the Shades of Summer. It's very, very, very pretty. So I don't want to open it up. We'll just kind of take a quick little look. So there is a little dangle on it, and it's tied with a little piece of lace with, with gold, with gold threads. And it has all the colors of beautiful summer, mostly like the pastels, but not just strictly pastels. It's like more like a summertime flavor. Oh, I love that. A little bit of everything. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. And then there's greens, several different greens. I don't use them very often, but when I do, I try and pick out the ones that are very um, feminine for these packages. All right, so there's a couple of those. Let's see what's number two. Number two is Shades of Melon. And this is really pretty. I've never done this before. I've never had enough of this color to do a Shades of Melon before. So it's wrapped up in a piece of flowers and we're just going to do a quick flip of it and it's all the colors of melon i've never had enough to just do this is really old so it's probably this package will be the last package you see that in so pretty 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 of this this is so pretty too all right so there is that all right clean that up let's see what's the next one oh yes this one here is so pretty it's called cottage garden and it's number three and um, the piece on top every package is different for the piece on on top excuse me but it is so pretty 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 lots of flowers it's not a it's like a flower garden but it has different flowers in it so pretty i hope i i hope you can see these oops there's very little gold laying in these packages because i've done so many gold um, packages there are no gold packages this time so I hope everybody's enjoying Friday. I just love it. I love this trim. I actually tried to get more and it was it sold out. Can't get it. That's so pretty. And these have long been sold out, but I still have some left. So including that in the flower cottage garden package. So everything in this package has flowers in it. All the different shades of, of a cottage garden. So that is number three. And then we have uh, another package. This one here is pink and pearl. And it's got to be one of my favorites. Oh, I just love this one so much. Love it, love it. Uh, and it's, as, as described, it's all pink and pearl. I made this one for the retreat. And although it is a little bit different than the retreat, it still um, has the same vibe. So there's lots of um, gold pieces with mirrors, but they all have pearls on them. So everything falls apart as soon as... As soon as I open it, there's nothing new there. But these are all different. I don't know that I've used a lot of them in other packages before, so there is a lot of that. And then there's just all the different shades of pink. Just beautiful. And I only have four, four of these or five of these. 
and um, all of these things can mostly be recreated. It's just a wait list for that because I will definitely be focusing on other things um, for the next while until I can get until I can get my taxes out of the way. Oh my goodness. I thought I was going to get those done in Canada, but wow, that sure didn't happen. So this is number four, the pink and pearl. Yeah, I brought everything along to Canada to try and get that, get it organized, but oh my goodness, that did not happen. So what I have been doing here for the last while is chasing a lot of papers. And I had a lot of requests for um, paper. And so I have put together some of my dyed papers and they're all paper smushed and they're ironed. So they will go through your printer quite nicely. So these packages are made up of um, the avocado paper in all the different shades of avocado. And there's, um, when you look at them, you'll see a lot of different variation in them. We use them for the retreat. And after we use them for the retreat, I've had several requests for more. So um, I feel confident now that um, they, they will be loved. So that's the only reason why I can make more now. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Sometimes that happens, it doesn't always happen. So there is uh, 30 to a pack and they can be, um, they're just random. So I have all the different colors in the, um, in the coffee also. And look how pretty that is, isn't that pretty? So I've got paper packs um, available and that was a package of 30 um, and they are five dollars plus shipping or you can get a pa you can get more but a packet of a hundred is twenty five dollars and it includes shipping so that's how I kind of put them together and then there is a few packages like this and this is really pretty and this is for the people who love the grungy grungy look because some of my papers came out looking like this. And it is really pretty. Really, really pretty. And it wasn't anything I did intentionally. It's just how it happened. At first I was distraught over it. But then I realized that there's nothing I did that um, created that effect. And even the way the the paper edges dyed it's just really pretty and even the pink like even the pink did its own thing these are avocado and they also did their own own thing isn't that pretty so this one here is a combination of just grungy and i think i have a couple of paper packs that i can put together with grungy now I want to get to um, some textile packages that I have put together and these were a bit of a labor of love and there are several different packages here um, combinations with um, the the cottons these are cottons that I have bought from from India and they are just beautiful 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 they always remind me of uh, feed sacks. So this here is going to be textile package number one and we're just going to go through them quickly very very quickly but I'm going to open up one so you can cut well I'm going to open all of them up so that you can see what pack what pieces are um, all in each package but I won't open everything up like this so these are fat eighths and so there's plenty to cover um, the smaller journals, a larger journal, so there's plenty. So we're just quickly going to go through them like this. So te textile package number one is more coordinated to have pinks in it. I think, let me see. Yes. Oh, I love this one. Ah, I love them all. And there's another one that's very similar. So that's textile package number one. Textile package number two is more of a boho vibe. Uh, 
I love these. I love that one too. So that's number two. And some of these will only have one package available. Some of them have up to four or five packages available. Um, it took me forever to put these together because everything got ironed. So it just took forever. So this is also more of a boho vibe, but it's a little bit different. So that's textile package number three. This is number four. Actually, I'm just going to do this. So this one's really pretty. This is like shades of, of blue, but lighter blue. So pretty. Some of these packages will have um, six pieces. Some have um, up to nine or ten pieces. They just vary. And they're priced accordingly. So this is textile package number five. Has some of the darker pieces in it. So that is five, six. Oh, I love this one. I do love this one. Oops. That's number six. This is number seven. Number eight. Not pretty. These would be used for their saris. I've had this, I've had these for a long time. I shouldn't say a long time. I've had them for me, I've had them for a long time, but they're not that old. They're not like vintage or anything like that. So some of them, just from sitting, um, will have uh, dark increases. I did not wash these because there's no way that I was washing all of this stuff and then ironing them again, because it's just, oh my goodness, there's just too much work. I just couldn't get it all done. Oh, I love this one. This is textile package number nine. I love the bright colors. And when these are gone, they're gone for a while because it takes a lot of work to make these. And so for myself, um, I just don't have that time right now because I have to get all taxes done. And then this is the last package. This is textile package number 10. And uh, you've probably seen all of these already, but it's just in a different combination of pieces. All right, so that's number 10. All right, let me clean this up and then I'll be back. I'm back. So I have a lot of bead strands put together. I have been working hard getting all of your requests out. So I made up extras and they're gonna have all the different colors. Some of them have um, more pink in them. Some of them will have some, there are two that I made up that are just blues. There are all sorts all the different colors. These are just beautiful. And I have so many tutorials that you can make your own dangles and your own charms and your own uh, stick pins because there is so, so many tutorials out there. And I link everything that I use um, except these beads because, well, I saw these beads because I have a lot of them now. Um, so there's a lot of those. 
anyway and then there is also three short strands that i found and the three strands make up a whole strand um, but if you just want one of these little short strands these are an add-on to um, your package you can't just you can't get just one uh, short strand anyway so there's that and i've made so much of everything that i could because i am going to be away from this for a bit but i will take custom requests it's just going to take a little bit more time for me to get them done all right so then we have a couple of the dangle sets um there are these two these are still from the retreat and i have two in the cobalt it's a stick pin with a coordinated dangle so there's two of those sp2 and sp3 and then there is some new pieces that I have put together and they're not glued. Um, I have searched everywhere for my glue and I have three tubes and everyone is missing. Can you believe that? Um, so it's on order and I'm getting some Sunday night also when I go through the city. I'm going to pop into Joanne's. Anyway, so number one, there is only one of these and it is the um, aqua oops there's one too many let me see what's going on here I have one too many of these which stick pin uh, do I have too many of so this and this oh this one right here this one's not supposed to be in here all right so there's these and they're going to have their clutches on them ouch and this piece here will be missing right here um, but these are beautiful. I just, I love, love, love these. These turned out so pretty. And the dangles on them are really super cute. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that cute? Sorry about my hands. I've been in tea water almost all day for the last couple of days. And then these are the charms that accompany them. They're very coordinated. That's number one. The number two in green. And some of these... Um, collections are missing one because I'm in a super mess so they're all going to be five stick pins and five charms this one here is complete so um, that's what the set is so there's in green move away you little charm oh my goodness where am I gonna put all this stuff all right so that's two then I have a few that are done up in pink Oops. So we have the pink collection right here. These are so pretty. These are my favorite pinks. This is my favorite pink bead. And they have all the really cute little charms on them. And then you have the coordinated charms. Number four is just dangles. A complete collection of coordinated dangles and charms. So pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then five is also very similar to three so there is two different sets like that then we have oops i'm running out of space it's obvious all right so this one belongs in here maybe not all right so here i am uncertain what belongs what is missing because some of the charms got kind of all mixed up so they will all be coordinated so this charm here should not be in there so this is going to be a set of five dangles and five stick pins these are really pretty i love this this is like a deep teal so there's that and maybe let me see. Maybe, maybe it's this one belongs here. I bet this one belongs here. So this one belongs here with this. And then this one here is now complete. So I've got that. And then this one here is very similar to that, um, but just a little bit different. A little bit different. Same color. Same colors though. Just different beads and this all oh, so cute so pretty 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 and the dangles and the stick pins are all coordinated so the beads are 
are, are good. Oops. Oops. Then I have three sets of sunshine, just the dangles. So there's three of these. And I'm just going to show you one. They're so pretty. I don't do yellow very often because yellow is more of a, a difficult color to get. So I try and save them. But I have enough now because I cleaned up and found a lot of things that um, I didn't know I had. So I have lots. So there's eight, nine, and ten are all yellow charms. Beautiful sunshine charms. And let me see. Oh, yes. So this is the set here that is missing the one, the one charm. So that, oh, no, that does not go there does not go there okay so it's missing one of the stick pins and one of the charms but I will be adding the the stick pin and the charm um, if anybody wants this collection so this is number 11 and it is the lighter uh, in the teals teal aqua and then here's just some random charms so if you just want a couple of charms or whatever these are add-ons um, these are the extras that I had floating around. Oh, I love the black and white. So there's that. And then I also had, and I wanted to do these up, but I just didn't um, get to it. These here um, is a set of aqua. Beautiful, beautiful aqua. So there's, this is going to be dangles and stick pins with the little charms. And if somebody wants that, they can, it's number 13, it can be done in gold or it can be done in silver. So there is that. Let me see. I don't think I have anything else that I need to show you. I think that's everything. I'm going to pop this up one more time. Um, if you want any information about the Seaside Soiree, the Fair Damsels Retreat, June 2nd to the 7th, 2024 in California, I'm going to link the email, the appropriate emails down there for you to get a hold of Karen or Georgian. And I'm going to pop up my information if I can find it. Oh my goodness. You would think it should just be sitting here, right? Anyway, um, yeah, it's not just, it's not obvious where it's at right now. So I'm going to pop up my own email. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. I'm going to pop up my own email, um, Sheila Ginrich, scoghill4 at gmail.com. None of this stuff is on Etsy. It's all direct sales through me to save you all money. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and I will be getting back to you as soon as my taxes are done. Bye-bye.